nine dear students, welcome to my class. This is Mr. Hamad Saleh. Today I'm going to explain uh, some concepts related to the short story in the collection textbook in page uh, 89. So this short story is talking about the events, or some events which happened in Argentina. This is a country which is located in South America. Uh, these events happened in the 1970s till the 1980s. This beautiful and interesting story was written by Luisa Valenzuela, who is a writer from Argentina. All right. So what, you're going, what we're going to talk about today, we're going to focus on two learning outcomes or two learning objectives. First of all, you will be learning about the main characters of the short story. We have two main characters in the short, short story. We're going to talk about the personal characteristics and what they used to do. Uh, all right, number two, we're going to analyze the conflict in the short story, the, the conflict that Juan, which is the main character in this story, had suffered from. All right, before we start with the main characters and the conflict, let's go through some historical background, where did or which type of life events is uh, the, the, the story talking about, right? Uh, so, the story is talking or narrating some events which happened in Argentina in the 1970s. During this period of time, there was chaos, there were too many problems, uh, crime problems, poverty problems, and turmoil. So, turmoil, it means chaos. It means that we have problem of disorder in the country, which means that we have too many problems. Again, the word is turmoil. All right, so this happened in the 1970s till the 1980s, where the government of Argentina was a dictatorship government, where they used censorship, where they controlled everything which can be written, either it's letters or uh, newspapers or media in the TV, in the radio, and other sources of media. So this is the historical background. Now let's start with the learning outcome L01, which is related to describing the main characters. We have the first main character, which is Juan. Again, this is a Spanish name because the people in Argentina, they speak Spanish language, right? Okay, so Juan is the main character. Now we know that this person, uh, was a journalist or a writer who lived in Argentina during the 1970s. We already know also that he tried to get in touch with his friend Mariana, who used to live in Paris, France, by sending letters to her. He, Mariana was his, her best, his best friend, and he tried a lot to communicate with her by sending her letters. Okay, but the main problem that Juan realized or understood was that the government in Argentina at that time, they had very strict role in controlling or censoring all sorts of media. So the government used to, to read everything which is written and they used to control it, they used to punish the people who write anything against the government's will. All right, so this was the main challenge that Juan suffered from, and that we're going to see later on how will this change his behavior and the beliefs. All right. Now, in order to be able to communicate with his friend, his best friend, Mariana, he decided to work in the post office censorship division. So this is like an office which is, which is following the government, which is owned by the government. 
Now, this censorship division in the post office, it specialized in opening all the letters written by uh, ordinary people, the, the, the people or the employees or the people who are working for this censorship division, they used to open these letters, check everything which is written, uh, and if anybody's writ writing anything about against the, uh, the government in Argentina, they used to punish them. All right. He decided to work in the office in order to send his letters to his best friend uh, in order to make this much easier and faster. So his main motive or his main reason for working in this post office censorship division was that he's going to be able to send his letters to Mariana to read it in much faster and easier way. So at the beginning, Juan believed that this work, the, 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 before he started working for this office, he believed that the censor's work is not ethical, is not fair, it's against the freedom of expression, right? And therefore, the, the censor's work to control and to read all the letters and to read all the articles written by journalists as unjustified. It cannot be justified. However, we're going to see how these beliefs changed in order to get promoted. So in order to get promoted from a position to a higher one, in order to get higher salary and get more power, his beliefs started to completely change when he got promoted from a position to a higher position in the post office where he used to work as a censor. Now, the second character, the second character in this uh, short story, which was written by Luisa Valenzuela, it is Mariana. Mariana was Juan's best friend who lived in Paris. Uh, what Juan wanted to do is that he wanted to ensure that that Mariana would remain safe and and therefore he wanted to write uh, the letters without uh, putting her into jeopardy or into risk. All right, so we would say or we would judge from the story and from the lines in this story that the writer herself Luisa Valenzuela was sharing some of the main characteristics with this character. First of all, she was born in Argentina, and second is that both of them used to live in Paris. So probably, so, so probably Luisa Valenzuela is self-reflecting on, on her experience, on her personal experience in this short story. All right, very important thing in this, uh, in this short story is that we need to be able to uh, describe or explain the conflict that, uh, that, the, the, that the main character, which is Juan, suffered from. Well, Juan had two, two different and opposite needs. Number one, he wanted to defend the freedom of speech. So he wanted to defend the freedom of the people to write whatever they believe in. But we're going to see that this desire or this noble cause or the good cause was conflicting with another, uh, uh, with another cause which is getting promoted and uh, being able to communicate with his friend, uh, with his friend Mariana so easily. So at the beginning, he decided to join this censorship division in the post office. And he started to justify this by the fact that when he joins this office, he will be able to ruin or destroy the censorship system in order to enable the people to talk 
freely, right? Okay, so this is his first motive or the first reason which encouraged him to work for this division in the post, post office as a censor. So he wanted to destroy or ruin the censorship system in the government of Argentina, right? But however, this noble belief of defending the freedom of the people to write whatever they believe in changed because he wanted to get promoted to higher positions uh, in the workplace where he is working. So at the end, we're going to discover that his personality, due to this conflict between what he used to believe in and uh, his, his personal goals of getting promoted, right? This completely changed to the extent that at the end of the story, he even censored his friend's letter, Mariana, suggesting that the, uh, the, the personality and the beliefs of uh, of Juan has completely changed because he decided to get promoted. This is an objective which overweighs, which is, which became more important than the noble cause of defending the freedom of the people in Argentina. All right, so I hope that this would provide you with more uh, clarity on this story. Until later, have a good Bye-bye. See ya.